Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I'm very pleased to welcome you to the CASE International Conference organized to celebrate its 30th birthday. It is hard to believe, but CASE, Center for Social and Economic Research, is turning 30 this year. It is a great achievement that an institution founded in August 1991 by 10 people without experience and knowledge needed to run a private institution and without financial capital has survived in good shape for three decades. Let me name the founders. Tadeusz Baczko, who is with us, myself, Barbara Błaszczyk, Władysław Brzeski, Krzysztof Chmielewski, who died recently, Andrzej Cywik, Marek Dąbrowski, Stanisława Golinowska, Anna Fornalczyk, and Jacek Rostowski. CASE has carried out much needed activities in Poland and internationally, ensuring the high quality of its work at all times. Despite the limitations due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the foundation has entered its jubilee year in good financial shape and we can celebrate our anniversary with satisfaction. I have been with CASE for all 30 years. I was not only a member of the founding group, but also a vice president for the first 17 years of CASE, together with uh, Barbara Błaszczyk, who was then a president. Then I was a president of a management board for four years, and for the last 13 years, I have been a chairwoman of the CASE Supervisory Council. So I, as, uh, so I have, as you say, an institutional memory. The 30th birthday is a time to summarize case achievements. The center was a child of a political breakthrough in Poland. It was also tangible proof of the freedom that the, this political breakthrough gave us. Case was an initiative of a group of people who had experience in research and teaching in the communist Poland, and who in the first years of Poland's transformation worked for various state institutions, which, unlike the business sector, were very slow to change. Our individual frustrations and desire to create something new born the idea of funding a private research institute. Only a few private think tanks established in post-communist countries shortly after the political breakthrough uh, have stood the test of time. CASE has succeeded. Our strengths have been the determination to influence institutional change in the, econ in the economy, the ability to attract good economists, our investment in young talents, our attention to publishing and communi communicating our research, and finally, our commitment to quality without which we cannot gain reputation, which is needed to run a think tank in a very competitive market economy. And there are three more important factors that made the institution stable. The first is the strong commitment of several founders to run the organization for over 21 years. And their commitment was not based on financial aspects. The second factor is that we managed to go, although it was not easy, to the second stage of the organization's development. And when it was time for a generational change, we had to entrust case um, management to younger people who naturally were from the outside of the founder's circle. The third factor is, the, uh, is that the foundation started without any financial capital. And although it has be begun building its own en uh, endowment fund since 2004, it never had financial comfort. Those of us who run case, including Chris, know that very well. Uh, but this situation, was a strong incentive for, the, for every board to act very prudently. CASE operated in three very different eras, adjusting its activities to them accordingly. First, 
we lived with the systemic transformation in Poland and other post-Soviet uh, countries, then with the preparation of Poland to EU membership, and finally, and now, we live with EU and global issues. We, the case people, the foundation staff from various periods, experts working on our projects, case fellows, employees, as well as members of foundation councils, founders, and members of the successive management boards have much to celebrate. Over the course of 30 years, the foundation has completed more than 600 projects. In total, we have carried out assistance projects for 105 countries, including most of the post-communist countries and other developing countries. We have done dozens of international research projects with large international research teams. We have also several publication series which are widely distributed. We note with satisfaction the citations of case publications authors in economic articles and books. We have organized many international and national conferences and seminars, including a series of public economic seminars that we have been conducting for 30 years in cooperation with, the, with M Bank uh, and its predecessors. We in, engage in consultations on governmental, foreign, and EU programs, and we take part in international and national scientific discussions. CASE has been high in international rankings for several years. More than 1,000 experts have worked on CASE projects. Poles and people of many other nationalities, young economists uh, who began their professional careers with CASE can be found in many important universities and international organizations, and they are our best business card. CASE is entering its 30th year with a strong reputation, a strong team, and a strong position in Poland and Europe. Thank you for your attention. And before giving the floor to Iza Marcinkowska, formerly Styczyńska, I would like to say a few words about her. Iza appeared in, at CASE in 2005, a student at that time, and has been attached to CASE ever since. She started her work as a member of application team, then became a junior uh, economist, later an external economist, and in 2013, she was elected to the management board. For five years, she was vice president, responsible for case finances, and simultaneously, she was involved uh, at case labor market projects. Since 2019, Isa is case president. I'm very appreciative of her management skills, decisiveness, loyalty, features so important in this hectic times. Isa, the floor is yours. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, thank you very much for this very warm, warm words. I'm very much like emotional, embarrassed, and now I don't know how I'm going to talk, but I have something written, so I'll just read it. So thank you very much again for, uh, for this introduction, this warm words, but uh, before I start, let me here, um, thanks to all, to Eva and to all uh, co-founders of CASE for uh, taking this brave decision 30 years ago to, to set up the, the, the new organization to, uh, to start uh, something completely new and to, and to build it to the level of, of CASE it is right now. Without your, your effort uh, for these 30 years, we, wouldn't have, we would not have been here. So, uh, so thank you, uh, thank you, thank you very much for that. Uh, personally, I can say that for me, it's a huge honor to work in this organization. It's a huge challenge, but it's really, really great. That's why I'm here for over 15 years, and I do not plan to leave unless someone kicks me out. <laughs> I hope not. Um, so now uh, let's come back to the conference. So uh, I would like to welcome all of you, um, all guests being present here in this conference room, as well as our online participants, our speakers, our panelists, and all uh, all, all participants. Thank you for for sharing this 
uh, this uh, celebrations uh, with us. Um, as we know, we all gathered here for two reasons. The first one is the celebration of OK's anniversary, but also what we would like to do, what we aim to do in organizing this event, was to take lessons uh, from these 30 years of experience uh, that the institutions has gathered, that the experts uh, has built, and to discuss the potential scenarios of the development of the, of the EU. Uh, the conference uh, is divided into five main, main sessions which cover broad range of topics uh, out of which uh, we will talk about the lessons learned from the post-communist transition uh, where among others we will discuss the impact of the privatization process on the economic development um, in, in Central Eastern European countries, a topic which is extremely relevant nowadays in Poland. We will talk about the future of labor market and the long-term challenges, the quality of life uh, in the aging EU population as well as uh, we will have a pleasure to uh, to talk a bit about the economic recovery of Central Eastern European countries after after COVID. Uh, these are only a couple of topics that we are going to discuss. Uh, we w have an honor to uh, welcome the most prominent speakers from around the globe that took part in the transformation process, that took part in the creation of case and has a significant had a significant impact on the creation of the institutional policies during the last uh, 30 years. Uh, we'll have an honor to have two keynote speeches, the one today and the other tomorrow, one uh, presented by Professor Basilovich, who will talk about the institutional systems and the quality of life. Uh, the other one tomorrow will be presented by uh, Bata Yavorczyk from EBRD uh, on the economic recovery of Central Eastern European countries. We will also have a pleasure to exchange uh, our viewpoints during five panelist sessions and we'll have a chance to chat together during lunches and coffee breaks. For those of you that couldn't attend us and are online, we prepared special platform for asking questions, commenting, and you are very encouraged to do that. None question will be left behind, so I trust that, all, that our experts will answer all of them. Uh, I strongly hope that we'll enjoy this uh, fruitful two days event, and I think that I will finish here.